Yo, what's going on everybody? Steven Bear King here with another part to our Mario Kart 8 walkthrough. We are cleaning up all the stages that we did not get three gold stars, so let's go ahead and hop right into it. In the last episode we did 50cc Mushroom Cup, and now if we look at the bottom there we have three gold stars and all of the 50cc. So if we go to 100cc, it looks like Mushroom Cup is what we missed again. So... On this one, 150cc, we actually missed a few of them. But let's go ahead and just take care of the uh, 100cc. And I believe on the last episode we used Daisy. In this episode we are going to use go. Rosalina. And we got ourselves another cool cart. Looks like a... Oh, Steel Diver from the 3DS games. Okay, I get it. I get a Nintendo Touche. And we're going to jump into the last Mercedes car that we haven't used. We're going to throw some tires that look like they make sense on it, which are those ones. And she's going to rock the Bowser glider just like everybody else. So it's just a mushroom cup that we need to do. Which is uh, kind of whack since that's what we saw in the last episode. But hey, that's what, we're, that's what the cleanup's all about. we got to go back and fix the mistakes that we made our first time through. So that's cool. But thank you guys once again so much for joining me. do really appreciate it. Hopefully we will be able to just tear through this nice and easy. I don't expect it should be too much of a problem. With all luck and everything. Hopefully it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yo, what's up? What's up, uh, Yoshi? Roy, here in first place. If I get a chance, there you go. That's what you get for hitting me with your green shell, dude. Payback is a B, y'all. Grab us a coin. Oh, I missed that. Missed that stupid little jump there. Missed all that coin there, but that's cool. Get a little boost off that jump. Why not? Why not? Bananas everywhere. So far we're doing exactly what we need to be doing. All I know is this setup right here with this car and these wheels. She drifts a little too crazy for my liking, but that's a cool rhythm to do thing. Lap to go. Let's just do this thing. This would like a good amount of points too, which is always a good thing for us. Always a good thing. We do as many points as we can. Lock on bundles. That's going to do it for this race. Lightning Bolt hits us right at the end, which is uh, cool. And we get to hit straight to next race without viewing the highlights and without having to move the cursor down, which is awesome. Um, I do want to say that a couple of videos ago, we were talking about 125 years in Nintendo, and I was naming a lot of games that I liked, and I was talking about the Super Nintendo a little bit and stuff. And I realized once the video was over, I was like, man, that was a big fail on my part because I really forgot like one of my favorite games on the Super Nintendo, which was Zombies Ate My Neighbors. I'm sure I probably talked about it somewhere before in some of my other videos, but man, that game was just super cool. Zombies Ate My Neighbors on the Super Nintendo. I think it was made by Konami, I want to say. I'm not 100% sure anymore. It's been a long time since I played that game, but man, I love that game as a kid. It was really hard to. One of those games was uh, Password system like every four levels they give you a new passcode so that when you came back to the game you can start over but it was messed up because like say if you started on level 20 there were these uh these big like 
big things that came out of the ground. And if you started with the passcode on level 20, you actually didn't have like any of the weapons or things that you needed to beat those those guys. You're basically you couldn't do it basically. So it was kind of a messed up thing. And you'd actually have to go back to like level 16 and try to store up on items and stuff to go to level 20. Kind of funny that it worked like that. I'm sure, I don't know if they meant it to be that hard and things like that, but it certainly was. I never beat the game. I think I got it to like level 40 or something like that. But I never saw the end of that game. If there was even an end. I just, I really wouldn't know. But I just wanted to, to bring that game up since I totally missed it. And that other video. It's really hard to think of like all my favorite games and stuff. I'm just trying to race and talk at the same time. But it's cool because we were playing online with that episode, so it wasn't like it wasn't like an easy walk in the park. I don't think so. That's cool. We are on the third lap already. He's tearing it up so far. Like again, 100 CC. Man, we shouldn't we shouldn't have any problems now. It's been a long time since we've had to do 100 CC. So. Tracks to come out. I don't know if you guys want to see 50 CC and 100 CC. I would imagine you don't, but let me know in the comments below if you do or if you don't. Uh, I figure, I figure, you know, right now the plan is probably not to do 50 CC and 100 CC with those new tracks. I see the uh, uh, guy who's doing 50 CC with the new tracks. But I don't know. Kind of defeats the whole purpose of the walkthrough. Also, kind of makes it to where you wouldn't see all the cards that I unlocked. So that might be difficult too because I did kind of just want to show you guys each cart as it gets unlocked and things like that so I'll have to think about it still but let me know in the comments below maybe you guys can help me make up my mind well, I do want to take this opportunity to remind you guys that I do do a lot of other videos on my channel besides Mario Kart 8 I also do the Elder Scrolls Online, Minecraft, back in the day I have some chess videos you can watch I, I might do some more chess videos right now um, or sometime in the near future just because right now I'm watching the Sinkfield Cup which is uh a tournament that they hold here in St. Louis, Missouri in the United States. Not here where I'm at. I'm in the United States and I'm not in St. Louis, Missouri. But uh, this year they're calling it the strongest chess tournament ever because it has six of the top nine top rated players in the world. It's got Ron Aronian, uh, Topolov, uh, Karawana, Karl Nakamura, Magnus Carlsen, BML, so there's a lot of really good players in this tournament that's going on in St. Louis. I've been watching it, uh, I watched the first round afterwards because I was at work during the day, so I rewatched it on YouTube on uh, St. Louis Chess Club and Selected Center's YouTube channel, which is awesome that they put just the full thing right on their channel um, for our enjoyment, which is cool. It's hard, I mean, chess tournaments are hard to, to follow a lot of times because, you know, they're taking place all over the world, they're always done by different um, production studios and things like that to go out and help out with the live streaming and things of it. And, I mean, you know, an average round of chess can last from four to, to six hours, you know, easily, so the last the first round is four hours, you know, there's a scene of... Um, Rounds of chess tournaments last six hours, so it's hard to it's hard to have all that time. But I try to make it happen by either watching it live or if I miss a bit live, and I go back and watch the replays. And, you know, it, it takes a lot of my time with these big tournaments that I want to follow from up because I do really enjoy watching them a lot. That's what I do. But maybe yeah, I don't know, just been giving me the itch to play a little bit of chess, watching all these elite grandmasters play, and feel like man, I can do that, which of course I can't. Any of those players will destroy me within the first 20 moves, guaranteed. But it's just cool to watch them play. It makes you want to play. So, now with that, if you guys are playing the chess or watching the Seafield Cup, congrats. Congratulations to you. This chess is the best game out there, regardless of how many video games I play. Last lap, trying to take me out with some shells. Luckily, we had a bit of defensive items going on there. Trying to get something in my throat. So we'll that. It's probably going to be there for a minute. 
that much to get back up to speed. Alright, so I think that was the third race. Perfect, perfect. So we got one more to go and we'll have three gold stars on um, all the 100cc tracks it looks like, which is excellent. I thought we had missed two in 50cc and two in 100cc, but I was mistaken. It looks like I was just missing the mushroom cup in each one. Which is funny that it would be the mushroom cup in each one, but... That's just the way it goes. I think the Sinkfield Cup should actually be starting pretty soon. After this video, I'm going to check and see if it started before I start recording another video for you guys. Just double check. I'm not sure if it's Central Time. I'm on Pacific Time. It said 150 Central, which I think... I want to say it's 12.50 Pacific, but it could be 11.50. It could be a two-hour difference from Missouri to California, so I'll have to double check that. Like I said, that's the first round I watched a replay of, so I didn't watch it live and have to worry about the time differences. I like this track too. It's a chill track. Hit, hit the thing. I was going to say, if you're going to hit me, take out my banana. Or... I get to the next item block. Excuse me. Like I said, someone's going to be stuck in my throat part of the rest of this episode. But just I don't want to make this really loud, obnoxious noise right inside the mic. I don't want to take get it out of my throat. So, bear with me a little bit of my voice cracks it. Uh, good stuff. Oh, gosh. Grab these two points here, just for the sake of that. I'm going to this way again. Oh, wow. Wow, Steven. Wow, dude. You're gonna be hitting the walls and stuff. That's fast as I think. Alright. that's going to do it for this episode. We got uh, four first place finishes. We're going to view the results, which is going to give us three gold stars, which is going to be, I think, all the gold stars that we need for 100cc, which means that we will be back on 150cc in mirror mode coming up in the next couple of episodes, which is perfect. Just perfect, so because hopefully we can get that done. Because we still we're going to need to do time trials, um, <clears throat> and then in November we're going to have all new tracks to go through, which is perfect, just absolutely perfect. I'm glad to see that this game got the DLC and all that. But I just want to thank you guys one more time for joining me. Let's go check it out real fast and just double check and make sure. So that's all the three gold stars, that's all the three gold stars. Now we got some work to do on 150cc, so definitely come and check out uh, those episodes, you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll see you on another video. Peace.